Welcome back to another episode of the Off Night Podcast. I am your host, Mato. Got to be back on the show. This episode is being brought to you by Spreaker. What is a podcast without a podcast host? Hey, you don't have a podcast at all. Click on the link in the description um, and start your speaker, start your podcast um, using Speaker as your podcast host today for as low as $7 a month. You know why we're here. Game one is in the books. The Braves beat the Astros 6-2 to two in Houston to take game one. The big news is Charlie Morton will miss the remainder of the World Series. He suffered a fracture fibula. And it'll be interesting to see who the Braves are going to replace Charlie Morton with in the rotation. If they even need the rotation. Ladies and gentlemen, if the Braves win game two, go back to Atlanta, win games three and four, I don't think you're going to need uh, to, to find a to find a uh, rotation replacement for Charlie Morton. But we will see um, going forward. One of the things, one of the key things, uh, I think, why the, why the Astros lost. Because they got a lot of hits. But Altuve went 0 for 5 with three strikeouts. Bregman went uh, 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. Correa went 0 for 3 with one strikeout. Those are the key core guys, right? Uh, including uh, Kyle Tucker and, Al- and Alvarez. But if those guys aren't getting on base, Alvarez hitting home runs or Kyle Tucker hitting home runs doesn't mean but so much, as you can see, as in they lost this game. So you can't have Altuve, Bregman, and Correa going 0 for, what is that, 0 for 12. 0 for 12 with six strikeouts. You can't do that. You, you're basically giving the Braves a series if you continue to do that. Going to the Braves hitting, I don't know. I don't. I didn't look up the, the historics of this, though. But every single hitter in the Braves starting lineup had a hit. Every single one. The only one that didn't get a hit was uh, Heredia, and he was subbed into the game. So every single hitter of the Braves, every Braves hitter, had a hit in his game. They jumped all over uh, Valdez, got five runs on, off of him. Um, and they only, they only can get one run f- from the bullpen. But speaking of the bullpens, both teams' bullpens were amazing. This was a battle with the bullpens, right? Charlie Morton went down. Charlie Morton goes down uh, after two innings and one, two, two innings and a third, right? So then the Braves' bullpen took it from there. They gave they gave up they gave six point two innings in the game. They only gave up two runs. They only walked one guy and they got eight strikeouts, right? Astros are almost the same deal. Valdez he's, he only gives them two innings, right? The Astros bullpen gives up seven, gives seven innings. They only gave up one run. They only walked two guys, and they gave up ten strikeouts. So, I know Astros lost the game, but their bullpen, you know, they didn't score anymore. The bullpen kept those guys right in the game um, going forward. They they gave the Astros a chance that if, if they were going to catch up to runs, they were going to freeze them right there at five. So, um, battle of the bullpens, man. The Braves bullpen was awesome. Astros bullpen was boss awesome. Um the game two matchup, Max uh, Max Freed versus Jose Ar- Arquito, who has a 27 ERA. That's right. He went one inning and two thirds, got rocked, haven't pitched again in the playoffs, and he has a 27 ERA. I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not sure I understand Dusty Baker's um, reasoning with going with Jose in game two versus Max Freed, who has a 3.78 ERA. But you know that Max Freed is one of the best. He's been one of the best pitchers in the National League um, all season. But we are in the playoffs. And it's all about what happens in the playoffs. Um, based on this pitching matchup, right, I think the the Braves can do exactly what they did to the Astros in game one. They can jump on Jose in the first two innings, put four or five runs on the board. Um, you don't assume Max Fried is going to get an injury, right? And Max Fried gives you five to six innings. And if you get that same bullpen um uh, production you win this game easily right um but again that's that's not how baseball is played you have to play the game matchups make sense and things like that and again the astros they got they got a lot of hits they just didn't score a lot of runs they had 12 hits um no they had eight hits i'm sorry they had eight hits in the game because so they got they got guys on base they had three walks they got guys on base they struck out a lot they just couldn't drive the runs home i think that's going to be much harder with max freed on the mound but we will see won't we um the bet the odds makers still have the Braves as underdogs. The Braves are still a point and a half underdog in this game. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see how people want to bet the game, so to speak. I'm going to predict the score. Um, I think this. I think the uh, Braves are going to win five to two to take game two, and then to go back to Atlanta with a two zero lead. Oh my goodness, that's going to be crazy. But but that's my recap of game one. Gave you guys a little preview insight into game two. Um, so I will see you guys after game two where we do a recap of game two 
and so forth and so on. Don't forget to take care of my sponsor. Go to Spreaker. Pick, click on the link in the description and use Spreaker to start your podcast today for as low as $7 a month. I'm over to my man. See you guys next time.